Red alert. It is peak hurricane season. We got a lot of players on the board, so much so it kind of looks like a fruit salad of hurricane cyclonic activity that possibly may be headed your way. Right now, I personally am super hyper focused on the red one. Though we are keeping our eyes on all of the colored um, banana shapes or whatever pickle shapes whatever you want to call these ones. And I got good news and bad news from the latest GFS run. Which do you want first? Okay, the bad news. Bad news is it has dropped the intensity of the possibility of this Invest 94L that will be coming into the Gulf in about 10 to 20 hours. And then possibly making landfall in about 55 hours, but it dropped the intensity to a Category 2 hurricane Possibly. That's the bad news. Good news is that it's skirting the coast activity would not make landfall this strong uh, until New Orleans. So technically that's bad news for New Orleans and possibly East Texas, but this is just one run and nobody knows what it's going to do next. But we have seen a Mother Nature pick on Louisiana last year and Ida trended from the south. It trended east again. So definitely Louisiana and Texas, you, you, we are on major massive red alert. Um, and we are tracking this thing until it comes in and possibly makes landfall on Tuesday. Whether it be a very slow, rainy, droppy, tropical storm, or, you know, Category 2, Category 3 hurricane. And nobody's saying Category 3 right now, but yesterday when nobody was saying Category 2, I was saying, hey, Category 2. And so now when they raise it, you can be like, okay, maybe what if it goes up one, one even more level? Because things can rapidly intensify in the Gulf in a short amount of time, like 24 hours, 30 hours. You know what I'm talking about? I do. Anyway, I put like a commercial at the beginning of every video, almost at the beginning of the months, because I do a Thor News fundraiser to keep Thor News up and running. And the thing that I try to sell in my commercial is me. And I'm like, if you donate and contribute, I will promise to continue to put out lots of in videos with very important information. And I will be covering uh, the hurricane season and all the planetary defense commander stuff. Uh pretty intensively from now until the end of freaky fall and the dark winter too and so if you'd like to contribute i got a, a mailbox a paypal a venmo a cash app a patron only 436 dollars left to raise thank you to rick and everybody at the national fight club I, I super appreciate y'all and i think the commercial's over now and here's what i don't really like about the latest gfs model run is that it was 979 millibars here and then it has to get weaker as it approaches the coast and what we have seen in the tropical storms and hurricanes of this year and last year, they usually ramp up up until landfall in the Gulf. We saw it with Ida. We saw it with a lot of the storms, even the Cat 2 that kind of hit South Texas last year. Anywho, so no matter what, it's my recommendation that everybody stay on high alert. And I'm like living right about here and here. So I'll be paying major attention and me and my friends are discussing it, you know, Oh, yeah, and if you can contribute and donate to Thor News, then I can get some extra batteries and foods and stuff. And the world is sort of super crazy right now, and I just found out one of my good friends, who I'm in a side band with, his other band, Stereo Cult, is playing tomorrow night in Houston at like 8.30. They have a $10 cover and beers in the city of Houston. They're usually kind of expensive. So I'm going to need... Uh, a fundraiser contribution or gift if I'm going to be able to allow myself to go and see two live music shows in eight days which would be something I hadn't done in years almost I know do you guys think I'm worth it or I can afford it this is a late night Thor news chilling out what is up another good news if the trend holds is that low system that we were watching that pushed into North Carolina it has now stayed off the coast as it gets pushed off the coast but that secondary weird though we were watching that was like, what are you doing? You're freaky. And the weather Twitter made fun of it. It is showing that it still pops up and then goes and hits the East Coast. So no matter what, we are going to be watching after this 50 hours. We're going to be watching this around the 18th. And we got one down here that we'll be watching for the 24th. So it is a full Katie bar the door, full tilt run. Look at all these strange patterns. Let's watch this together. If I'm a little revved up, it's because me and my buddy H in our side band, Silver Blue Sun. I don't know, we, we got two new songs and we went to the practice space and 
worked on reps of the two songs for like an hour just before I got back. So I'm all super hyped up. I'm not a rock star, but sometimes it's fe- nice to feel rock star energy, whatever that may be. Bruce Lee's like, yo, rock star is a stupid term. I paraphrased him really poorly there. Okay, so we got a lot of shit to watch. Have you been watching? Well, I have been talking. This is a late night Thor News chill fest and my comprehensive coverage continues. So here we're looking at the 14th. We definitely see possible high wind action. This would bring storm surge, heavy rainfall. And my plan would be right now, am I over here, I think? Over here. That even if it hit me in the face at Cat 3, Cat 4, I might ride it down. We'll see. But I'm watching it. Absolutely. freaking lutely And since it is 1.30 in the morning and nobody's really listening, you know, I don't know if it goes into the Gulf. There's always a chance it could be Cat 5. I mean, you got to prepare for the worst. You know what I'm saying? Just like keep telling everybody. The winter... Uh, the, the plague could go cat five on us. And people are like, no, it can't. I'm like, maybe. You never know. Let's play defense. But nobody really wants to talk about how to play defense or do teamwork. They just want to talk about cryptocurrencies and politics. So if uh, you'd like to contribute to Thor News, I promise the next future videos are probably not going to be as Ulysses run on sentence, run on thoughts as this one is. But man, it's just been a wild ride all summer until now. You know, and then. I, I, I think it's going to get real hurricane man. And I'm trying to, like, guess. I think we're going to see a hurricane like three or four days after the fifth Pluto square. Eris of five. That will be October 9th. So we're on the 13th of October. I'm looking for a landfalling hurricane that make everybody go WTF ahead of time. Just letting you know. Hey, what is this? What do you mean my tax manager won't open? All right. And maybe the energy of the all this starting up sun going hello with five sunspots here it was finally getting to me geomagnetic unrest sparks auroras last night the digital pen on stuart green's uk magnometer unexpectedly started swinging like spider-man maybe and that's how it kind of works with my fundraisers you guys save me every month you're like my personal spider-man and then i do my best job possible as planetary defense commander spider-man spider-man oh i'll calm down but we got a lot to watch. And I got to do a fundraiser during that time as well. Did I mention that we got like 400 and so? And I guess I should be getting prepared just in case this is Cat 2, Cat 3. Come straight up to the shipping channel. Hi, Karamba. Like I said, I think we got like 50 hours until it happens. And maybe, you know, we'll get a best case scenario and it'll totally stay offshore and then just spin around into nothing. But my guess would be that if it pops up and goes north, it'll hit somebody, whether it be Texas or Louisiana or, you know, I think everybody in the, around here should be paying attention if we get our next, like, raging bull that is let loose into the Gulf and there's no bullfighter in asterisk happening. Am I making any sense? Heavy flooding. Supposedly all along the coast, no matter what, with or without landfall. We're talking anywhere from 10 to 20 inches in some spots. Up into Mississippi even. And then over here in Florida, it's like, what? And then that other spot, depending on where we think it may or may not go. I'm talking about the orange one? This one. And that one, if that does decide to go in, that'll contribute to all the rainfall. It'll just be like a weird McDonald's arch of floodiness. And these two down here, they almost look like feet. And is that like a duck or an amoeba? Yeah, worst case scenario, almost as if it kind of goes right, stays right offshore and just goes slow and shit ton dumps a bunch of rain all along the coast and then hits up in here or in here. You know, we will have to see, but everybody, I will be paying attention. That's what I'm doing right now. I hope this report is great. Fantastic. 48 hours, 96 hours up here. It puts it like 70-ish here. Next three days. We're talking Tuesdays when all the action supposedly is really going down. So, we're in prepared game face battle mode. Get your preps ready and have plans. Contact your friends and pets and peoples. And I guess if I don't hit my fundraiser goal for this month, that means I'm fired. Smoke them if you got them. Here, we can see the latest GFS run. But look how much, if that were to go on land, that would be... 
this isn't going to be Harvey bad. Like, I don't think anyone is going to get 50 inches. I could be wrong, but I'm just saying. But it could still be really, really bad in really, really different weird ways. And so definitely, you know, play defense, make good choices. All right, smoke if you got them. So if we get really lucky, it'll kind of stay off the coast and then fall apart. And then everybody will be like, oh, you fear-mongering hype monster for clicks and likes. Uh, you know, you blew it out of proportion. That is best case scenario, man. I will take that every day, all day. That's fine. Because Harvey sucked. And a lot of the hurricanes that hit you in the face, your infrastructure, your lands, that sucks. And we've been getting the shit kicked out of us during the plague and now with hurricanes. We need to start uh, teaming up or whatever. Ain't it cool? <sighs> See here, doll face. That kind of looks like a Star Trek logo. So maybe. I don't know. I don't want to be too optimistic about it, though. You know, because we haven't been hit by a Category 3 hurricane this hurricane season already. And did I show you the board? There's the board, man. So yeah, the water is super hot, 30 Celsius. And so I would say, depending on dry air and wind shear, you can never rule Cat 5 out in the Gulf. Not saying that's what's going to happen, but people need to be prepared. And that's what I'm here to try to help you guys be prepared. Give you good information or whatever. Some people might be like, hey, I don't like your style. And that's fine. There are a lot of people out there talking about weather. I'm pretty sure you can find them with simple Google searches. I feel like the people who watch me are special. That's right. You're special, buddy. But yeah, we're watching this shit. See what happens. We kind of have ideas, and here's that atmospheric river I've been talking about for multiple years. You know? Okay, great. There's a weird low thingy down here. Did I show you before? This is not it. But here's like the 50-hour window-ish thingy. That's where it would kind of be, and I would be at the 72, 75-hour window thingy. And here, I show you more graphics. Here are graphics. Star Trek symbol. I'm kind of in a decent mood, and this week was a shitty week energy-wise, in my opinion, because the plague has been just kicking our ass, especially in Texas and Florida. I don't talk about it because I don't want to argue with anything about anybody. If I switch words around, then reverse them or whatever. And singing for an hour really helps me kind of get it all out. So I'm glad I got to do that tonight. Thanks, H. And I'd, I'd like to go out tomorrow night. Did I mention that? It's a crazy week, man. Even with asteroids, asteroids are whizzing by like everywhere. Zoo, zoo, zoo. Pew, 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 pew. 0.3 lunar distance, 0.4 lunar distance, 0.5 lunar distance, 0.7 lunar distance, 0.2 lunar distance. These are dangerous days, man. Um, you know, revel has been back in full ransomware attack mode. And remember, on top of all this, the West Coast is on fire and fuego. Like you can see the smoke. The wildfires have just been ridiculous ridiculous and dangerous so these are super crazy days indeed it is best to try and enjoy every single moment you can man or ma'am okie dokie i'm wrapping this one up and i'm pretty sure in future videos i will be calmer but it's just like a relationship where i've been doing this for eight years and a lot of people have been with me for eight years or seven six five four three and so you know i'm gonna have my ups my downs my mood swings and you know, the whole fundraiser aspect, game show makes it all even that much more interesting. And my own behavior that much more erratic or whatever. So how am I doing? And I think I'm doing good. I think I've been doing great as your planetary defense commander in 2021. And I just wish everyone would work it out, man. United we stand, divided we fall. Let us unite and stand and fix some shit and have good times again. You know, that's what I would like. But I definitely would like to see good times tomorrow night. To see my friend's band play six man rock and roll. Here we go. And then whatever ba other bands are there. Okay, I'm watching things. You gotta stay cool. And if you have any fundraiser magic for me, I would really appreciate it. Um, mailbox, PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, Patron. Thank you to Rip, Rick, and everybody out there cool. Mike, stay cool. Everybody stay cool. Let us finish out the weekend strong and get ready for crazy days man did i show you the board did, did i mention the west coast on fire and then like everybody's fighting all the time over dumb shit all right but i hope it's not dead god is great you're pretty awesome too stay cool talk to y'all soon peace out